first 1.1, first thing in the book, and um, just be patient with me on the, the writing and the podcasting. I, I will get better at it. I'm a little bad with the with this uh, marker, so I apologize. First off, we'll start with some key vocabulary. You'll notice the key vocabulary, uh, this is on page three of your book. The key vocabulary is up on the um, upper left-hand, kind of not totally in the left-hand corner, but on the left side on the very first page. And notice it's add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And you know, add is the sum. Let's use some technical words. Add is the sum, and usually there's an addition sign. Subtract, there's lots of words that mean to add and subtract, but these are the most common. You'll see these, and I'm mm -hmm, sorry about the pin. I'm not uh, very good at that. Let me do that word again. Difference, D I. I always manage to turn other things on. I'm not sure. There's difference, okay, and of course that's subtract. Multiply, the answer to a multiplication problem is the product. Especially on my first edition, maybe that'll work better. Time. And then divide is the quotient. And there's our division sign. And I want you to start getting used to division as being a fraction like this. That's 8 divided by 2, which is 4 or eight halves, you put eight halves together, you have four wholes. So it's kind of nice to see that, have a little connection there. So let's take a look at describing patterns and uh, go on to example one. Uh, recognizing and extending a pattern is scheduling events. You are a member of a summer movie club at your local movie theater. The club meets every Wednesday in July to watch a movie. The first, wins the first meeting is on July 6th. On what other dates in July will the club meet? So we take a look at this and we see, as far as a pattern, the answer to this question about summer movie club starts with the 6th and it repeatedly adds 7 days to the date. Did you know that uh, Wednesday, the, that day happens every 7 days a week? So the first meeting date would be July 6th and then you'd add 7 days. That'd be July 13th, add 7 days, July 20th, add 7 more days, July 27th. So. It's kind of nice to see the pattern right there. So to answer the question, the club will meet on July 13th, July 20th, and July 27th. So example number two, extending a numerical pattern. So in this one, we look at this pattern, and what I do is I try to look, I look at those numbers, and you can see um, right here between these numbers, I try to see is there something common. I always start with addition. From 2 to 7, that's a difference of 5. That one, if you added 5. That one, if you added 5. So it says then write the next three numbers. So I'm seeing a pattern that you add 5 each time. So 5 added on to 27 would be 22. And 5 added on to 22 would be, or excuse me, added on to 17 would be 22. And then add on to 27. So my pattern, I say it's going up by 5 or adding 5 each time. So let's see how they did it. You add 5 to the previous number to get the next number in the pattern. So notice they did kind of the same thing there. So the next, oh, I'm supposed to do, sorry, the next three numbers. Ooh, that's a, I mean that reading. Right there's the 3. So I'd have to add another 5 to my 27 right here, which would be 30. Precisely the way it over here. So we'll take a look at the next. Which one? Okay, five to the next. Sorry for the delay. My computer doesn't want to work very good. So I need to some of these made with a, you get a new computer with maybe a little more memory to help me out here. Okay, next slide please. All right, so we have example number three. It says, um, extending a numerical pattern, describe the pattern 2, 6, 18, 54, then write the next three numbers. And notice these dots right here, dot, dot, dot. Let me add in my little 
dot 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 means that that pattern continues to go on and in that that way well I try my addition I look at it and I think well, what do I do and you I guess another way to look at it would be what do you do to this number to get this number what do you do to this number to get this number what do you do to this number to get this number sorry the fire whistle just went off if you hear that um, if you if you think it's not adding you're not adding the same thing each time but right away because I know my multiplication facts I see that it's two times and here times three is six six times three is 18 18 times three is 54 so 54 times three would be the first number that's 12 carry the one that would be 162 then 162 times three which numbers get a little bit big but not too bad and then 486 times 3 oops hang on Four, the whistle's messing with my head 486 times 3 18 carry the 1 carry the 5 carry the 2 that's 12 14 so I say it's 162 486 14 58 so let's see it's multiplying by 3 each time let's see if I did very good sometimes I make mistakes so let's check it out oh look at there yahoo okay now the phone's ringing so we'll try to ignore all of that while I'm Taping. sorry that's my mom's phone ringing so anyway okay the guided practice Ooh, it's crazy we got the phone ringing the sirens going off it's like musical accompaniment so that's kind of that's kind of nice okay so the guided practice for um, examples one two and three number one a bus schedule the city bus drives to your house every 40 minutes during the afternoon the first time you see the bus is at 2 20 p.m what other times will you see the bus before 5 p.m.? So I got 2, 2, 20, and every 40 minutes. So 40 minutes added on to 2, 20 would be 3 o'clock. 40 minutes added on to 3 o'clock would be 3, would be 3, 40. And 40 minutes added on to that. Eight, 40 and 40 is 80 minutes it's 60 for an hour so one hour that's the same as one 80 minutes is the same as so an hour and 20 so it'd be right at five o'clock right yep but it says before five o'clock so I say we're gonna see it twice we're gonna see it at three o'clock and then we're gonna see it again at 340 that's not right another 40 minutes only 40 minutes that's gonna be four 40 minutes added on to that's gonna be 420. I'm adding 40 minutes, 220, 10, and 30 that would be 3 o'clock, 340, 40 minutes on to 340 is 420, I think I got it, let's see if I have it, hey, all that whistle and stuff in my head was messing me up. Describe the pattern, then write the next three numbers. Okay, so number two, this is number two. That's not part of the pattern, so it starts right here. 28 to 24 goes down by 4. 24 to 20 goes down by 4. Goes down by 4. So it looks like we are the, describing it as subtract 4. So 16 minus 4 is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. So we know this close. 
that pull from your previous number, 12, 8, and 4. Woohoo! Ooh, look at this one. I'm going to go down to these numbers that are smaller, these two right here, just as a start, and I see that 32 is half of 64. Is 64 half of 128? Let's see if two 64s make 128. Right, so each time it's getting cut in half, and we cut in half, we divide it by 2. Divide by 2, so we're dividing by 2 each time. That's my description. So 32 cut in half or divided by 2 is 16. 16 cut in half is 8. 8 cut in half is 4. Okay, example four, it's gonna need a visual pattern now. The Hawaiian lei is a flower leaf given to symbolize friendship. What are the next three flowers in the pattern of the lei? So we go yellow carnation, two orchids, a red carnation. Notice that every other one is, a, is the um, purple flower, so we're gonna go right over here. Over here, this is gonna be purple, purple, and it looks like yellow, I'm going to say. Let's see. Let's look at what these look like. Look for a repeated pattern. The lay starts at the yellow, two orchids are red, and two orchids again. And it alternates. The last flower is a red carnation, so the next three are two orchids and a yellow. Did I say two purples and a yellow? I think I did. Okay, last example. Describe the pattern, then draw the next figure. Um, the block, I guess it depends on how you, this block right here. And then it's over here, so it looks like it's moving in a clockwise position. Okay, so the next figure would be And I got a picture of the other monster than mine. Okay, describe the pattern. So you got one dot, then we had three dots, then we got five. Notice that bottom row has one, two, three, four. So I'm going to say if you just look at dot intermediate, there's lots of ways you can look at this. This has one dot, this has three, this has six. So that one went up by two, by three, by four. Didn't look nice over by five. Let's see what happens with that. Let's put five on the bottom row. And then let's make the pyramid like I had them four and three and two and one. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so that's 15. So that went up this one went up by two, this one went up by three, this went up by four, this one's going to go up by five then. Okay, let's try the next figure. So there is the first lesson for chapter seven. Right there, add a row of dots, oops, out. That's it, we'll see you again on 1.2. Um, you can, after you've taken your notes, hopefully you remember to take notes, remember you're taking notes with me, you're doing all of the examples and all of the guided practice. We'll see you the next one.